Jane King Live at the NASDAQ is brought to you by the Good Feet Store. Starting with some historical perspective on the cost of driving. Yeah, it's not good. That's some perspective. Jane, Americans are paying a lot more for gas. Yes, Cotton Kylie. So, in fact, the highest since 2014. So, U.S. gas prices as a nationwide average soared to 321 a gallon this week. The current average price in Indianapolis, 326. So, right there at the national average. Now, in some places, Americans are paying $5 for a gallon of gas right now. Well, General Motors plans to double its annual revenue to $280 billion by the end of this decade as it transitions to all electric vehicles and diversifies its operations beyond cars and trucks. So they're right now doing a two-day investor meeting. This includes some product test drives as well today. They're expected to provide a clear strategy to persuade investors to value the company like a tech startup, kind of like how Tesla is valuated. And Kellogg dealing with the strike at some of its plants that may impact the cereal supply. The strike impacts Rice Krispies, Raisin Bran, Fruit Loops, Corn Flakes, and Frosted Flakes. About 1,500 hourly workers went on strike this week in Michigan, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, also Nebraska, and that could ultimately threaten the production of some of those iconic cereals. And toy makers giving us an idea of just how much of a delay there could be. And they're talking about perhaps four months. Um, toy manufacturers grappling with this, of course, supply chain bottleneck globally. It was made worse by the Suez Canal blockage in March, which still is impacting things. There have been power outages in China, a resin shortage, of course, COVID uh, related to this as well. MGA Entertainment, for example, had anticipated a 50% sales growth this year. Now they think it's going to be more like 18 to 20%. Well, the Dow up yesterday 100 points. We were down 450. But then the news that there's a possible resolution on the debt ceiling sent markets up, and we're looking 300 points higher right now. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Your smile. I can see it in your smile. There's some optimism there. That's an all right thing. More. Let's see if we can Let's see if we can keep it. It's been volatile. <laughs> lately so if we'll see a, if it's a green <laughs> thursday ahead as always jane king in new york yeah. we appreciate it 725